Here we are on the pound dollar five range and we've uh, really been seeing some movement today for, for a Monday. Uh, the pound pairs have been uh, really moving and uh, some of the other pairs as well has provided a lot of opportunity. Um, here I am now on the five range for the pound dollar and this is a, an aggressive entry here for a potential wedge pattern and um, what I just want to do is talk you through how I'm going to handle the trade, my stops and targets and how I'm going to be very aggressive here with my stop loss because this pattern hasn't actually formed yet and I'm getting in early and if I'm wrong I want to take a minimal loss on it uh, but the potential for reward here it, it is very high so that's why I'm being a little bit more aggressive and you can see that um, what we've actually done in fact I'm just going to remove the orders here so for this wedge pattern you can see we've had a big rally we've had a touch a touch a touch we've just come down for a touch now i got involved in the higher high higher close here now this hasn't fully formed yet this wedge pattern but let me take you through a higher time frame analysis and there is another problem with this trade um, but again I'll, with these problems come potential rewards uh, big rewards and so if we have a look what we did is we rallied down here on the daily to this vs1 level here i do believe we can come a little lower but right now what has actually happened is we this is our previous outside return here i'm going to highlight it to there and what we did was we rallied up pulled back rallied up pulled back rallied up and we have not made a new structure high now um, I'm currently uh, the overall trend here for me is bearish I do believe we come a, can come a little lower on the dailies but here we are uh, looking closer at the dailies and it looks as though we could um, well we are actually in trend here whether or not we make another new structure high I don't know but as we drop down the time frames and this is what I want to show you whenever I see momentum it's an indication to me that we could break through a major structure level and here we are this four hourly candle is clearly a momentum candle and look how strongly we close just here if I drop to the 60 you'll see if I take off these VS1 levels here it is on the 60 minute time frame and I'm just going to zoom out and put a structure level on here so we've actually closed um sorry let me delete that uh, we've actually had a break and close above this level but not above the main outside return if we break above this then we've got a good chance of going higher here however right now we haven't done that and so after that momentum candle if we look for a little bit of relief we would look for that momentum to carry on and that can happen a few ways it can happen in a flag it can ha happen in uh, a channel um, a triangle and it can happen on the higher time frame so for instance just looking at this here we could be starting to put in a flag pattern there 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 potential touch here as well however on the five range I've been very aggressive here and what I've done is is I've entered in based on a potential uh, potential wedge pattern okay sorry about that um, so here is the wedge pattern I'm just going to bring back on the orders and as I say if I'm wrong here here I want to be out of the market quite quickly and so I would not be anticipating us to break this level so I have eight pips of risk here now in terms of the potential though if we do break to the upside then we could see that um, 127 hit and also if we go out to the 240 and we do break to the upside this puts in a new structure high and we're looking at a potential rotation on the lower time frames and we could certainly see a move um, up to in fact best way for me to do this so it doesn't get too complicated let me remove those orders again and do this so there's a trend line here and you can see this trend line had been respected 
we had a violation there but respected 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 and what we did was we actually then violated if you can see that here to the upside and so we're on the opposite side of this trend line now indicating that we could go higher so if we f throw a few fibs on where we think second targets could go to well if we invert this leg we have a 1618 coming in at an even handled number so let's remo remove these other fibs coming in at the 132 flat if we put an extension on we have a, a minor fib the 1414 coming in at exactly the same place as well it is only a minor fib i don't pay that much attention to it but nevertheless um, I, it does carry more weight when all the fibs line up together and then we had we did have something else what was it we had a 618 a little lower nope that wasn't it just let me drop down a time frame I think that was it actually okay so let me bring those orders back on and so um, what we were looking at here was the 127 was also looking at the 1618 and that was coming in at structure I believe let me just go back and double check it again and so uh, where was our outside return yep just there so these fibs are coming in at the previous outside return so if you look here new structure low outside return new structure low outside return those fibs are coming in there and so um, targets for this are going to be 20 pips underneath that even handled number making sure it gets me beneath that structure level as well so let me delete all that information off and let's go back to the trade itself and just redraw it out and then i'll end the video and we'll come back and see whether or not we were right with an aggressive entry for this particular wedge pattern now i know through testing that these wedge patterns uh, typically if they're going to um, be wrong if, if they're going to fail they um, as soon as they start to break out of the trend line they end up losing more often than not um, they usually don't come down to retest the first test so that's why I've got very tight stops here so um, I'll be managing this quite closely so there we go that's the risk that's the potential reward may as well draw this on now we could be out of this very quickly there's only around 10 pips of um, risk on the table here and I may actually change this once I look at the candles on the lower time frame just to get a little bit more perspective of what's going on so I may give it a few more pips just depending how the candle formation is setting up uh, because it's very unusual to get a risk reward like this but because I'm being super aggressive on my entry here I want to um, I obviously don't want to lose 10 pips 10 pips at the end of the day is 10 pips uh, but I do want to uh, to monitor it so there we go um, we'll come back to the trade and see whether or not we won or lost and we're back on the pound dollar my alarm's just been triggered and we have just had quite a big spike up there to about 65 pips up um, we will see if we can push that a little bit higher and get targets on this particular trade now if um, you remember in the first part of the video uh, I had an aggressive entry here and I had just a 10 pip stop loss and what happened is as we um, started to really form the, the, the pattern properly then um, what I was able to do then was put my stop in an appropriate place so that it allowed um, room for the trend uh, for the trade sorry to progress to targets um, so uh, may think that's a little unusual having a very tight stop loss and then as as you go into profit you actually move your stop further back uh, but in actual fact it makes perfect sense because 
it was an aggressive entry. I wasn't 100% certain that this would turn out to be a uh, wedge pattern. Um, I know based on previous experience and the type of setup it was, I had a higher probability than 50% and I was willing to risk 10, uh, 10, um, 10 pips for 70 there. And as we started to go higher and the pattern formed, it makes sense then to put my stop in the most appropriate place so that it does then allow for that trade to um, continue up. So um, we're getting a bit of a retracement now. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pause the video again and see if we can come back and hit those targets. And we're back here on the pound dollar and I do not have the greatest of news. <laughs> um, we had... Um, let's have a look. We had news out for the pound at 9.30. Uh, we saw an initial rally here we came close again and then about uh, 15 minutes later it was a full 15 minutes later it just it just dropped so I was taken out there for break even <sighs> what a shame came 68 pips up <laughs> from a 70 pip target so break even trade <laughs> 